I've turned my area rug around and now I'm going to prepare that final um, the finishing uh, strip. You need to tuck in the fabric here. Fold it in on the top and on the bottom and leave about um, a half inch of fabric that we can sew our final strip to. So I'm going to just put a pin here to secure it. And go down here and you see this is how we're we're just folding in the top, the bottom piece and the top piece and placing them together. And then we'll take that that last strip, the one that we cut a little more narrow, it's folded in half, it has the same little slits cut into it, and you're just going to lay it on top. I'm going to remove this pin that I had pinned to secure, and I'm going to put it into. Now this is a lot of layers of fabric because you have it doubled here and doubled here and doubled here. So you want to make sure that you have a good strong machine and a, and a, good, and a jeans needle or a heavy duty needle to handle this amount. Okay. So you pin it all the way down to close that hole. You could if you wanted to, if you felt that your machine couldn't handle the thickness of this fabric, it really shouldn't have any problem with it. But you may want to hand sew this last strip on with a heavy duty carpet thread. Here is our completed shaggy rug made completely out of recycled jeans. You can see how the different colors of the jeans really give it a nice look. You know, it's so pretty you could hang it on a wall, use it for a wall hanging instead of a rug. Now you can see I finished the edge. This is what the finished edge looks like. And we, this is the backing that I've sewed down the backing.